Critical minerals are rare, hard to find materials that go into making the foundation of modern technology. And unfortunately for India, we do not have any substantial reserves of these infinity stones. And if we do not change this situation soon, we are screwed. This is Catamarca, a silent desert at the foothills of the Andy Mountains in Argentina. It's rural, it's rugged, and it's now part of India's ambitions for mining of critical resources abroad. Because underneath this barren land lies a huge deposit of lithium. Most modern tech runs on lithium. Basically, anything with a rechargeable battery needs to have lithium. And that's one of the reasons why it is known as white gold. In 2024, India signed a 200 crore deal with Argentina to explore and develop five lithium-rich sites in the Catamarca province. Argentina has 13% of the lithium reserves in the world, making it the third largest. And yet, when it comes to the global supply, it only contributes 5.3%. In short, having the resource does not mean that you can use it. And this, this is India's biggest advantage and also its biggest challenge. Securing critical minerals is a top priority for India. But even if we find them tomorrow, it could take 17 years to start mining. Take cobalt, shiny, silvery, super useful stuff. It cools batteries, powers missiles, mining gear, surgical drills. Basically, my starter pack if I were a Bond villain. China has only 1.6% of cobalt reserves. Congo has over half. But by 2035, China may control nearly 50% of the world's cobalt supply. How? Great question, smartass. China's state-backed companies move fast, investing in Congo, building refineries, signing long-term deals. So even with little cobalt at home, they build control over what the world needs. <laughs> that is a wild stat, homie. Across the world, a new race is unfolding. Only a handful of countries control the reserve, supply and technology behind critical minerals. India too is taking note of that. It recently allowed private companies to explore and mine minerals in India. And we are just not looking on land. In 2025, the Indian government launched a 600 crore rupee fund for a deep ocean mission. The purpose of which is simple explore and mine critical minerals from the ocean floor using submersibles like the Matsya 6000 which actually goes 6000 meters underneath water. All in all, if India does not sort out its supply of critical minerals, we are screwed.